Okay, so everything's tight. I kind of want to show you, and also I added the kind of heater to show you what kind of heater I use. But again, I use the channel locks, my blue channel locks for there to tighten. That's where I did all the tightening on this side. Or I use my um, pipe wrench to hold with my foot. If you remember that, the last video. And so I just kind of want to show you again. I use that. Again, it hooked on to these, I guess if you lack of a better term, like a little lip or teeth right here on there. And then after that was all tight, very tight, you can kind of see the gasket. I mean, that's tight. It kind of comes out. It's really compressed against there. That's how much tight it is. I mean, you can, I mean, it's just, it squishes it where it's airtight and watertight, of course. Then I use my channel locks again for the three quarter PVC. Um, just tighten that all the way where it's flush. Um, yeah, it's all the way to the flush. And then I like to use my crescent wrench. Of course, you got the notches here to make it tight. So I tighten that all the way here with those little grooves. So um, I use Teflon tape again for all of that. I like to use Teflon, I think like most people do to make it very, or, very watertight. Um, but anyways, I mean, this is, if, this is done. And again, I've had sows, they just gnaw on this like crazy, all the pressure, and I haven't lost one, to, um, been broken at all. Um, if anything I do ever have to replace is gonna be this. But, but, right, but every year, year and a half, you probably should just replace this part. And because sometimes those filters and those screens on the back, they'll get rusted, depending on if you have hard water or not. But um, not bad, though. But it's never been from them breaking it with this setup. Um, I mentioned the submergible water or the heater. I like to use these um, in the wintertime. And it keeps this, you know, I don't know, depending on how cold it gets. It gets... Sometimes with the wind here, we can be 10 below. That's not really cold. I understand it's way colder other places, but this seems to help, keeps it unthawed. Um, I have had these freeze up when we've had crazy winds in the wintertime with a bunch of snow. Maybe we're closing down to 20. These will freeze, um, but those sows, they're so strong and tough, they will suck these so hard and pull on them, they'll get the water going again to get them out. So um, even spite our coldest that we've had here in south um, west Idaho, um, these seem to be very efficient again because this never freezes if you have power to it. Now, if you don't have power, obviously that's going to be a concern. Um, I don't know. There's other ways. Maybe you could probably keep it warm. But that's my setup. Again, um, these are very proven. And I just wanted to share that with my big customers or anybody else that wants to have real bulletproof, pig proof um, water. This is, again, time and time proven itself. And I hope this helps you guys out. Um, have a good day.